跟着请狮子山学会的王嘉莉小姐。Chairman, the Lion Rock Institute will always and everywhere oppose non-means-tested welfare. For even if we can afford it and make it sustainable, giving those without need the money extracted from our taxpayers' blood and sweat is truly the height of injustice. And I am disgusted that so many socialists in this very chamber who throw around terms like justice with such cheap ease demands that very height of injustice. However, even if we only focus on our efforts for the needy, two fundamental problems reside with the determination of who is truly needy. First, the calculations of the poverty line are idiotic. One can hear repeated ad nauseum today that blah blah percentage of the elderly is below the poverty line. Our assessment procedure for po poverty line focuses only on income without any requirement to determine one's assets. Therefore, an applicant who owns a $10 million flat that she also resides in, receiving 1% interest on the $5 million deposit she has in the bank, can be deemed below the poverty line and needy. Only the idiotic could deem someone with $15 million in asset needy. And only an idiotic calculation could put her below the poverty line. Second, we are cheating, we are raising a new generation who has found the opportunity to cheat the system in public housing. Cheating the system is now as easy as simply not declaring assets owned beyond the borders of Hong Kong, as they are currently not checked. Our friends in the front line of community organizations have told us many tales of individuals owning property in mainland China, openly bragging about their abilities to cheat public housing successfully with no consequence. Our socialist friends in this chamber know very well about these, yet they willingly turn a blind eye on it, fighting for injustice and hoping that they could fool all the people all the time. But the Lion Rock Institute has news for you. You can fool all the people all the time, and prefer, perhaps even more importantly, you will one day run out of other people's money. So I say, God damn the socialists. Thank you.